Hello everybody and welcome to another third party review. Thanks to the team over at Shozy. Today we're taking a look at slightly ahead of schedule, Moshao Toys Takeda Shinjen MCT J02. This thing looks absolutely stunning. It's part of the Noble class aimed at ages 14 plus. As with all of these Gundam Esque style figures. They do come jam packed with accessories, and we do get a lovely little instruction booklet here, along with a really nice comic. We've got details of how to put the stand in, we've got all of the different weapons really nicely labeled as well. This comes off, and you can then put the additional back pieces in lots of articulation, all of those different hands. And then we've got the shoulders, they can spread. We've got the flame attachment for the back of the head. Neck can be lifted up, shoulders can detach, and then reattach. This thing is jam-packed. I mean, this thing is absolutely sublime. The arm looks sensational. It's actually kind of functional. It has a hinge on pretty much everything. I've already started to add some of those accessories that come with it. It's a giant mecha shogun, and it does exactly what it needs to. We've got two times AG4 batteries in that head, making those eyes absolutely beam. I mean, just look at some of this weaponry. I mean, this thing just looks insane it is stunning i mean you can even holster both of those swords at the same time as well as holding onto that massive lance why not switch out that axe split it in half and make two axes axes axe eye axes axes <laughs> This thing is just jam-packed full of options. And I mean, he just looks sensational doing whatever the heck he wants to. I don't very often gush over a figure that doesn't actually transform, but this thing has got so much going for it. All the accessories, for example, they're all magnetic. This entire base stand is magnetic. He's got magnets on the bottom of his feet so he can pull off some incredible poses. Uh, we can just bring the swords in. I think they actually go this way, don't they, like that? And uh, I'll just put the second one in. Of course, you don't have to use the smaller swords, even the largest sword that comes with him as well. That can also be housed on this stand. As well, we have the flight stand that comes with him. We have multiple hinges that just tab in at various different points. We can add all of those different effects and parts on him. Of course, you don't even have to have those shoulder tabs attached. That's an option as well. If you can see from the back here, I've plugged in this section here. As it was, I had that unplugged and I had my sword plugged in on there with another large plug uh, standard. He comes with a clenched fist on both hands, but we get uh, open palms, we get kind of semi-clenched fists, we get trigger finger hands, all different sorts of things. So we can hold all of these different forms of staves, uh, we actually get one of these splits. The axe can come in two. That can form an alternative version of the axe, kind of like a spear minus the blade. It's a gorgeous, fantastic piece. Absolutely loving this. I don't think I'm going to have to dedicate an entire photo shoot to this thing just to kind of show off what it can do. Uh, it's by far the best mech that I've ever owned. I mean, just look at that. You can even extend the sword, adjust that onto the post, and then you've got those magnets in the feet. 
so poseable. Look at that, you can attach the flames onto the back of the head there as well. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Just take a look at some of this detailing on here. So much going on. Marvellous head sculpt. And I can just look at that sword. Fabulous piece. Let's quickly take a look at his articulation. Head can lift up and down on an extending neck, allowing for a ridiculously huge amount of range. If you want to turn his lights off on his eyes, buttons just inside the head, but I mean, he looks fabulous, doesn't he? Coming around to those arms. These are on extended hinges and are fully articulated. These underneath are on extended hinges. And then this can come around, it comes up. It's got a butterfly joint in there as well. So we brought around to the front. We've got the bicep rotation, double jointed bend on the elbow with armor that slides in and out. Rotation on the wrist. And each hand is pegged in by a C clasp that just grabs onto that hand. We've got articulation on the waist, really ridiculous amount of abdominal crunch on there. Waist rotation, legs, <laughs> if I can unpin them, uh, it can come forwards and backwards out to the side, upper thigh rotation, double joints on the knees, way too much articulation on these feet. I mean, heavily articulated uh, left and right on there and really nice deep pivot as well. And even the shin guards, even those are ball mounted as well. These are pivoted and ball mounted. Uh, these hip skirts again are on ball mounts. Uh, so. This thing is literally jam-packed with articulation. So there we have it. I mean, he is packed to the brim. Very, very fun figure. Uh, that's what I miss from a lot of these figures. The playability scale, the fact that they're fun. And this thing ticks a lot of fun boxes. He is a gorgeous, extremely well-built, heavy, robust piece made up of a vast amount of die cast and thick, heavy plastic. Standing around that 12 inch mark as well. I can't really fault this guy. He's done to a remarkably high standard, not the cheapest figure on the market, but with these, you pay for what you get. These are definitely high end pieces and I honestly can't recommend this enough. It's sensational. Uh, make sure you check out my Facebook page because I will, when I get a chance, get a full gallery done of this guy because there's so much going for him. And I'll include a link in the description below where he can be purchased. Thanks again to Shozy for making this review possible. And thank you all for taking the time out of your busy days to check out my content from myself and the rest of the Collectibles household. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.